Hi, let's see how can we simply upload a CSV file into Oracle. First of all, let's find something that we could upload. For this, IMDb's top 250 would be good. Top 250 movies. Okay. First of all, let's save it into CSV. For this, we use Excel. Now, as you can see, there are four columns that we should be uploading into Oracle. Rank, Rating, Title and Votes. Here, I just create this table. As you can see, here are the four columns that I mentioned. Rank, Rating, Title and Votes. I created this SQL script a bit earlier, but now you can see it. If we check the user tables, we see it's not created. Well, let's create it. Okay, table created and it is empty. We remove the header from the CSV file because we don't want to load it into the database. And the column D, which is a number, should be formatted as a number. So we remove this comma from here. We say it is a number and just a sec. And don't use the comma separator. Cool. Now let's save it. I've created a folder, of course, for it. And let's name it IMDB top. 250 and it should be a CSV. Save it. Okay, let's see what we have. You see, here we have the CSV file. That's what we want to load into the database. As you can see, the separator is semicolon for, for me. I chose semicolon because there are some movie titles that have commas inside and it would prevent the uploading. So let's say uh, choose something that is not inside any of the values. Okay. Now how can we load it? For loading, we don't need it anymore. For loading, after we created a table, we need a control file that describes the comma separated value file. Here you can see the control file. In this I tell what is the name of the file that I want to upload, where do I want to put bad uh, records and where do I want to put uh, discarded records. I want to insert it and I want to insert it into IMDB top 250 table that I just have created before here. And here I tell how I the fields are terminated. They are terminated by, uh, by semicolon. As you can see here, there are the semicolons. Okay, and in the control file, I tell the names of the record of the fields. Okay, and then I need a file that will invoke the control file. For this, you can see I have created a batch file and it will invoke SQL loader. Where is it? You can find it here in Oracle binary SQL LDR. There you go. So I invoke this command username, password, database, and I tell it which control file should it use. That is IMDB top 250 CTL. Okay, let's see how it works. We open a command prompt with CMD and then I just type the name of the batch file and I run it. As you can see, there are 250 logical records uh, processed. If I check the log file, I can see that everything went fine. All the records were loaded. None of them were bad records. Now, if I check my table, I can see that there are the 250 records. Well done, that's all.